and welcome back to another episode of Size Eyes. So, we're going to be continuing going through my life operating system, SciOS, and continuing to take a look at my wisdom. And so, last few episodes, we've taken a high overview look at my wisdom, the book vault within this, the media vault, and then now we're going to be taking a look at um, depending on time, maybe one or two things. So first we'll start off with the course vault. So this course vault contains everything um, from any online or in-person workshops or courses or anything like that. And so everything that I've signed up for, right, um, and just has information and notes for each of these. So right now I'm going through some courses by Robin Sharma. So one course that I've completed is a 5 a.m. club method and the 5 a.m. club method elite. So I have notes for that. And then something I'm going through right now for his is a success master university. And so there's, so let me go through this vault. So I just have the program name. So obviously the name of that, name of the program of the course it's, or the workshop, etc. Then I have a status, which is in progress, to do, might do, and completed. So the might do is something that is similar to uh, the might read categorization in the book vault. It's something that, you know, I want to keep on the back burner. It's like, hey, this might be a good time. Or... Like, hey, this is something that I might want to do if I have time at some point. Or if it's something that I know I want to get to, but I don't have time right now. If I don't want to be intentionally focused on that right now, I'll put put that as might do. So there's only one right now that is might do, but um, the rest of them are mostly completed. And then, of course, there's the one in progress one. And then I have priority. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth priority. Again, these priorities aren't necessarily... Right now, we only have, let's see, 12 entries in here, so it's not like a huge view that I need to categorize by priority, but I have it in there just in case. Then I have topic. Um, so right now, you know, I overall, this could be something that is uh, something in the tag, tags database. Um, could be, you know, mirrors that. Um, but right now, I just have about six... Six categorization of business, spiritual, marketing, education, technology, and music. Oh, whoops. And so, and, you know, so I, right now those are the only six ones since all my workshops have been only contained essentially through, uh, throughout all those. But, you know, we'll see as I continue to grow this fault. And I have the creator. So who's a course by, you know, Robin Sharma or, um, you know, whatever organization uh, puts it on or if it's a workshop or a retreat type of thing. So that's there. And then the dates. So if it was, so I'll, if it's like a, a, a date or workshop or whatever a course that actually has dates attached to it, you know, it's, maybe if it's a weekend thing or whatnot, um, I'll do that. Or if it's something that is just an online course that doesn't have a timeline associated with it, I'll just put the dates that I completed it, so the start to the end date when I went through all the course material. And then same thing with the length. Uh, so I have another thing, another uh, field for length here. And so it'll just be one, two, three days if it's the actual uh, course length or however long I took to complete it. Then I have the cost as well, since a lot of these courses may not be free, um, or I mean some might be, uh, in that case obviously it's zero dollars, but I'll associate the cost with it um, just in case, or you know, just to, so I want to track it, or if someone, if I recommend it to someone, at least when I took it, I can say, hey, it cost me two hundred dollars, or it was free, or whatnot. And then I have a recommended buy, so that is if someone told me, so like, a couple of these are by my brother, um, someone, you know, sometimes I might have just found it on my own, just through social media, email, marketing, etc. So 
um, if it's uh, recommended by specifically someone that I know, um, I'll just put that in there. And then a URL. Obviously, for some of these, they don't really have URLs, especially if it's in person, obviously. Um, but uh, the one URL that I actually have filled in right now is one for uh, the might do. So interested in that, potentially doing it at some point, but I have a URL for, for it if I want to revisit it. And then the last two are uh, just relations again. So it's going to be a relation to a thought vault. So if I have anything that's related to anything, any thoughts that I've had uh, related to that course or a specific section of that course, and I'll tag that in here and relate that. So I can easily jump around from one to the other. Right now I don't have anything filled in, but it was byproduct of following August Bradley's course that he has it in his, so I just included it in mine. And if I can, when I continue building it out, I'll see if and how I fill this out myself. And then I have the Wisdom Vault uh, relation here. So similar to the Book Vault and the Media Vault where there's any topic, right? Mind, leadership, communication, success, business, etc. I'll tag those Wisdom Vault topics as well. Awesome. So now, uh, so that's pretty much the course vault right there. So pretty simple database, you know, not too many fields, uh, or at least pretty straightforward, and and not too many values, you know, row items as well. Um, since I haven't, you know, it's not going to be as built out or as uh, as many row entries as the book or media vault. Uh, but as I learn about more courses that are available and some more that are interesting to me, I'm sure I'll continue filling that out, especially in the might do categorization. And then uh, a little bit of time here, so I'll continue to look through the vaults here. Uh, so I'm going to continue with my thought vault. So this thought vault is essentially just a brain dump. So I know some people kind of use this as, um, or use Evernote as a kind of their notes or Apple notes or I don't know, I don't know what the Google default one is called. It's like look or something. It's like a glasses or a magnifying glass or light bulb or something. Keep. It's called keep. Um, but I use that for the first week and then I didn't like it. Um, but you know, whatever you guys use, um, that's essentially what this is. So it's just a brain dump of random thoughts and ideas I've had that may not be specifically tied to any book or media or course or anything like that, right? Um, where I'll have, you know, in those specific vaults, I'll have template and a section for my own thoughts, right? Ba specifically as a result of the content that I've consumed or the content that is displayed and shown in those specific medium, media. But these thought vaults, these are just random thoughts and ideas. Sometimes it's like a sneeze where I, oh, I just need to get it out. Um, let me just write this quickly down um, in this thought vault and let me get back to what I was doing before. Right? It's, it's, it may be something that I want to dig into deeper as a blog topic, maybe something that I want to um, make a project even, or maybe, um, you know, so it can be literally anything. Um, something I want to expand on, think about more. I'm at some point, and it's not like urgent, where it's not a, it's not a task, because if it's a task, I would just quickly fill it in in my action item database. And so these are just random thoughts and ideas. So if it, if I have one in the shower, obviously just you know hold on to that thought for, or you know if I forget it, hopefully it resurfaces and I can note it down. And some of these I'll write down actually in my journal, in my free form journal, in uh, on an ideas page. And sometimes I'll journal about it immediately or, you know, have it on there where I'll get to it eventually journaling. Sometimes I'll cross them off and actually just put them in the thought vault because it's something that I don't necessarily want to or need to get to at that point when I'm journaling. And it's just taking up space and mental bandwidth. So I just put it in the thought vault, kind of like the brain dump. And so within this thought vault, um, let me just go through the items here. So the first... 
uh, first column, first field is thought. The This is obviously the most important one, where it's just sometimes it's two, three words, sometimes it's a sentence, sometimes it's built out where I'll have a an initial idea, and then I'll go into the page section of that, uh, you know, row item, right? And then I'll uh, build in, I'll write in more detailed notes that I don't necessarily need to have in the high level, you know, uh, thought, right? Um, and if it's something that I want to remember, but I don't want to write it all in the main level, the main thought level, I'll just uh, write it down in notes, the notes section of that Notion page or entry. And then, so that you know, that's the thought. That's the most important field. And then I have tags. So essentially, same thing as the book or media vault, where I'll have, you know, all the different tags that are available. So, you know, business, communication, creativity, design, education, financial, health, history, leadership, marketing, etc. So all those different tags. Tags. Right now, I haven't tagged any because I just need to like actually go through these thought vault ideas. And then after that, it's just uh, relations. So I'll have a book vault relation. These are you know, tied to any notes in the book I specifically have. Um, so these are none of these are actually. I don't actually have them filled in, but I have them there if I need to. But I have the book vault relation, a course vault relation, and a media vault relation. And so, you know, if any of these thoughts are related to any, each any or all of those of book courses or media vault, then I'll have a relation to each of those. <clears throat> then I'll also have a projects relation. Um, you know, so if it's if this is related to a project that I'm having or that I'm uh, currently doing, or perhaps if it's a future project that I want to get to at some point, and I have some thoughts on it right here, I'll note it down, and I'll. Pr I haven't done anything like this yet, but I imagine I would write this thought down within the context of that project. Let's say if it's a. Uh, um, as I'm building it out, right, uh, maybe it's a specific task that I want to include in that project action items, then I'll um, input it into the action item database specifically as that, or or I'll just put it in one of the one parts of the project templates um, so that when I am actually doing my quarterly planning and building out the project project's action items, then I will... Uh, you know, include it as an action item, or if it's a general best practice, or if it's just a, a random thought, um, you know, I can just have it as it, within the notes section of the project or in one of the tasks, etc. So relation to the project's database, and then the last one is uh, relation to the wisdom vault. And so similar to the other book, book course media vault, but relation to the wisdom vault here as well. And then the last couple um, are just uh, meta tags. So it's a created date when I the, when the style was created, so I just filter or sort it by um, either the most recent and then the last edited as well. So I filter by the most recent. I edited it, edited it as well. So um, yeah, so I'll just stop there now. But so that's those are the course and the thought vault within Maya Wisdom. Um, next episode, we'll be taking a look at the much referenced Wisdom Vault. And then from there, we'll be continuing on to take a look at my other databases as well, uh, which should wrap up the wisdom section of this SciOS Life Operating System uh, series. So thank you again for listening. Uh, if you found it valuable, you know, like, comment, subscribe, follow, all of the above, um, share. And so, yeah, if you want me to go in detail or hit me up on anything uh, to get more insight on, feel free to do that at any point. But anyways, thank you for listening to another episode of Size Eyes. I'll see you when I see you.